Guess what day it is? Mike, 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 Mike. Well, yes, it's hump day, but guess again. October? No, it's Star Wars Livestream Day. Well, there's something you don't see every day. No, it's not, considering the fact that the other Hasbro toy lines have had at least two live streams each since the last Star Wars one. Isn't that weird? Yes, Garth, it is. So let's take a gander at this Star Wars livestream. It better be good. Welcome to CKC, I'm Matt, and if you like Star Wars and Star Wars collecting, you're in the right place. Hit subscribe, like this video, and hold on to your butts. What's up, everybody, and guess what? It's time for another Hasbro Star Wars livestream, where for some, dreams come too, while simultaneously, hopes and dreams are shattered for others. Wait a minute, that reminds me of something. Anyway, it's about time. It's about time because since the last Star Wars livestream, Transformers, Power Rangers, and G.I. Joes have had at least two livestreams each, while Marvel Legends has had four. Yes, four. So let's get into it and see what they have, and I hope you guys like exclusives and repaints. So this Star Wars livestream starts off with them telling us that the TVC Bad Batch 4-pack, you remember the awesome TVC Bad Batch 4-pack that's really the only Bad Batch TVC release that we have that was stupidly made an exclusive, so it sold out in minutes, and now it's going for $150 on eBay, you know, that one, that there will be more available when it's released. Like, that's different from any other thing they ever release ever. But anyway, they told us that. So as if we didn't learn anything from the exclusive Boba Fett one, we now are getting another retro collection Target exclusive prototype figure, and this time it's a Stormtrooper. There's six variations again, but this time the gun actually varies in color as well, so who knows how many different combinations they're going to be able to come up with. I personally thought that Vader and Boba Fett was enough, but I guess Hasbro disagrees and wants to milk this crap for everything that it's worth. Just one of the major problems with these is that some collectors want every variation, so not only is it an exclusive, there's even less for everybody because of that. Pre-orders will be available for a total of three seconds at target.com on 9-9 at 1 p.m. Eastern Time and will be available in stores this fall. Next, they revealed a gaming greats figure, and one of the best reveals of the day is the Jet Trooper from Battlefront 2. They used the new clone trooper body, gave him a jetpack, and I think he looks great. But this is the only Black Series reveal that is not basically a repaint. At least this one has some new parts. Every other Black Series reveal just got a new paint job. So, yeah. The Jet Trooper is available for pre-order at GameStop and EB Games on 9-9 at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Next, and as if we needed more, they revealed four, yes, four, new TVC Carbonized figures. Because it's not like two of the last set of Carbonized TVC figures are still available at Walmart.com. And the third only sold because the actress got canned from the show. And the only one that actually sold was the Mandalorian one, and I only saw these one time in the store. I didn't see a restock or anything like that, just once. But let's go pump more of these out, right? So the new ones we're getting for this one is the Armorer, the Incinerator Trooper, Moff Gideon, the Shore Trooper. Problem with these are they're only really for mint box collectors. Like, who is dying to get a carbonized Moff Gideon for their figure photography? Anyway, these are Walmart exclusives in the US and in Canada, and they're fan channel exclusives in the UK, and will be available for pre-order on 10-7 at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Yes, that's right, they are spacing out pre-orders so they don't all go live at the same time. Very good, Hasbro. Someone's learning. They're still in the middle of a business day, but baby steps, right Bob? And just as I say that and give them some props, next we get five exclusives available for pre-order at four different retailers all at the same time. But they aren't just exclusives, they're a double whammy for you. Not only are these exclusives, they are straight up repaints of figures that were already released. And two of them are peg warmers. It's another credit collection wave. Another set of figures that are basically useless to openers. The first one we have is another Mandalorian. This time he's blue, which I actually like. This one looks pretty cool. It's an Amazon exclusive. Next, I guess they had a bunch of extra quills left over from all the peg warming. As we have Quill, he's an Amazon exclusive. Then we have another great peg warmer. That's Grief Karga, which is a fan channel exclusive in both the US and the UK. Then we have Moff Gideon, which is a Best Buy exclusive in the US and a fan channel exclusive in the UK. I actually like the color scheme of this one as well. And finally, the Armorer, which is a GameStop and EB Games exclusive, all of which are available for pre-order on 9-9 at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. So good luck being at four places at once, or maybe we can get lucky again, and we can click refresh for two hours past the scheduled time for the Best Buy one again. After that, and get ready for another repaint that's also an exclusive, they revealed the Black Series Mando and Grogu, our Vala 7 build-up pack, which is also a Target exclusive. This time they come with a caked-on mud effect on the same sculpt as before, although Grogu has a new head sculpt 
bulb with his eyes closed, summoning the Force. This set also comes with a Mudhorn Egg, and this is the first time that the first Pram is available. This is not available for pre-order yet, but be prepared for it to sell out in seconds when it is. It should be available in early 2022. Next, we have another repack that's also an exclusive, but this time for TVC. It's a Stormtrooper Troop Building Assortment. It comes with three Stormtroopers and a Squad Leader, four rifles, and two heavy rifles. Now, this is a great idea. Long overdue, but it's a great idea. But it's Hasbro, so it's one step forward and one step back. And of course, this is an exclusive to Hasbro Pulse and Shop Disney. This should be plentiful, available to everyone who wants it. And if it's an exclusive, it should be at least a fan channel exclusive, so it's easy to obtain. But no, it's Hasbro Pulse and Shop Disney, which is the worst retailer for Hasbro Star Wars, as they don't have pre-orders for the Star Wars stuff. Marble Legends, sure, we'll have pre-orders for that, but nope, not for the Star Wars stuff. This is available for pre-order at Hasbro Pulse, don't even try Shop Disney, at 1 p.m. Eastern Time on 9-9, so good luck. After that, we have the only non-exclusive reveals of the day, and they are TVC. It's the Emperor... Lobot, and Bib Fortuna. So the Emperor has a different head sculpt from the PulseCon exclusive that is soon to be available. He's also numbered VC200, which they made a big deal about. Lobot comes with an E11 rifle, and the Bib Fortuna has flexible tentacles, so you can position them any way that you want to, and also comes with a soft goods robe. These are all long overdue, but I think I speak for a lot of TVC collectors when I say, where the hell are the Bad Batch figures. The Black Series has some already released, and more already for pre-order. The TVC has none, but the exclusive 4-pack due out in January. What the hell is going on with that? Anyway, these are available for pre-order on 9-9 at 1pm Eastern Time at most major retailers. Next, they revealed a Force Effects Elite lightsaber, and it's for the Star Wars god herself, Rey Skywalker. It looks like they did a fantastic job on this, and it'll also be available for pre-order on 9-9 at 1pm Eastern Time at most major retailers. Her Holy Jedi herself is pleased. Then they also said that the TVC IG-11, Lando Calrissian, and Tebow, which were all revealed in the last live stream, I think, will also be available for pre-order on 9-9 at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. These are not exclusives, and you can pre-order them at major retailers. There was also a little bit of news about another exclusive, and that's the TVC Target exclusive Anton Merrick and X-Wing being released for the long-awaited and highly anticipated Rogue One five-year anniversary. They announced that there will not be any pre-orders for it. No pre-orders, so you just gotta get out there and find it. Now, this is incredibly dumb, especially for an exclusive, so good luck out there finding it. I hope they'll have a bunch available on Target.com in lieu of pre-orders, but we will see. So you want Razor Crest updates? Yes? Have you been waiting for some info on the Razor Crest? Well, they didn't give us any, other than the shipping date has been pushed back to January 2022. But we did get some great pictures of the box, if that excites you. Just a lot of pictures of the box. Alright, so what was in the pipeline? What's Hasbro got cooking up since the last live stream in June? Must be some great stuff, right? Well, check out this Black Series Archive wave coming. We got the Emperor, Dangar, a New Hope C-3PO, and Skiff Guard Lando. Are you effing kidding me? Serious question, Hasbro. And I say this with the utmost respect and genuine concern for your well-being. Are you smoking crack? Emperor and Dangar? Yes, I can see both of those. But C-3PO and Skiffguard Lando? Is anyone demanding more 3PO releases? You can still buy pretty much every 3PO release, including the A New Hope one, for $20 on eBay. I literally just bought a Skiffguard Lando for $18 on Amazon. I'm serious, he's $18 on Amazon right now. There are so many Black Series figures that need to be re-released because of their price, it's insane. Maybe Commander Fox, Clone Commander Obi-Wan, maybe Dr. Aphra, Slave Leia? How about Leia in the Bush disguise for the upcoming Return of the Jedi anniversary? Maybe even the Clone Captain and the Clone Sergeant? It is completely baffling to me that you chose these two figures that to this day are only 20 bucks. I guess that ketamine-addicted monkey is at it again, huh? Anyway, there were some TVC pipeline figures announced too. We got Yoda coming, the 501st Trooper, finally, the Death Watch Airborne Trooper, and Figrin Dan, but still no Bad Batch for some reason. And then for Force Effects, they announced that a Leia Organa lightsaber from Rise of Skywalker will be coming soon as well. Noticeably missing from the live stream was anything about the HasLab Rancor. Like seriously, give us something. I thought for sure that they would at least talk about it, and also nothing about PulseCon 2021 or the PulseCon exclusives or when they'd be available for pre-order. 
or anything like that. Also not mentioned in the live screen, but revealed through Fantatracks.com, is the Black Series Power of the Force Yavin 4 Princess Leia, which looks great. It was also stated that she would be a regular Black Series release as well. But the only info that they had was that she would be available for pre-order on 9-9 at 1 p.m. BST. Yes, that's B, as in boy, not EST, because the only info that they had about it was its release on Hasbro Pulse UK. Will it be available for pre-order in the US on 9.9? I don't know. Did they clear this up in the live stream? Not in the least bit. So we'll see. But let's get into some leaks quickly. They're all for the Black Series. First and most recently was the cryptically revealed Black Series Mandalorian Ahsoka Tano in Rosario Dawson's likeness by Yak Face. I thought that would be revealed today for pre-order, but it was not. Then we also learned, I think through Yak Face as well, that the Black Series Cobb Vanth figure, which was announced in the pipeline in the last live stream, I think, is going to be a deluxe figure. Why he needs to be deluxe, I have no idea, but that's the word on the street right now. Also, leaks by Jedi insider is the black series saw guerrera deluxe figure from rogue one this was kind of leaked before but this totally makes sense and could be the deluxe figure to go with the rogue one re-releases like zeb was for the re-releases of the rebels figures and also from jedi insider is the black series deluxe dark trooper which should be pretty cool so what do you think of the reveals? Which ones do you like or dislike? Which ones are you going to get? How do you feel about all these exclusives and repacks and repaints? Is Hasbro smoking crack? Let me know what you think. And thanks everybody for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And happy hunting out there. And pre-ordering, I guess.